Uh, hello friends, uh, this is Alan Josh and I welcome you to the Lenox TV. Now if you are new on this channel, you want to hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you don't miss out on the various relevant contents we share here every single time. So please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button and let's just rise together. Okay, so in Lenox Consulting, which is an arm of the Lenox Group, one of the services we render under the licensing and registration service is helping people and individuals and corporate entities you know, get licenses and registration with different government agencies as found relevant. Be it federal in line revenue services, I mean getting your tax identification number and also filing for your tax with the federal in line revenue services and then sometimes with EFCC there is a special control unit against money laundering which people often call SCUMO certificate. We help people obtain these for some businesses that require that. Also, registering your business or organization with the Corporate Affairs Commission, these are some of the services we have under our licensing and registration services and learn up consulting. Okay, so in registering people or helping people with all these licenses and registration, some of the challenges they often encounter are some of the things I intend sharing here. Of course, there are many challenges they face. They face many, of, many challenges uh, but I intend sharing three of the challenges faced by people with unregistered business. I mean, critical problems they often encounter when they have their businesses unregistered. Okay? Now, one of the dreams of every entrepreneur, because everyone, it becomes clear to anyone doing business uh, very quickly, I mean, very early in the business, it becomes clear that with more capital, you could have just done more. So there's so little you can do when you don't have capital, but with more capital, you tend to be able to do more. And of course, because of this, one of the dreams of any entrepreneur is to someday encounter an investor, or anybody or agency who will be willing to invest in their business. So there are different individuals, private individual uh, organizations, and the government offers uh, grants and loans every now and then that you can gain access to. So, and when some of these kind of opportunities show up, it often requires that you have a registered business. And sometimes they get to be aware of these opportunities when it's just about two days to the end of such uh, application. Okay, and eventually, of course, uh, clients will come and put pressure on you, help me do this within two days, within one day. And sometimes there are just some things that are not possible. Of course, CAC has been very efficient in recent times, but it's still not as efficient as to conclude the registration within a day. And within two days, just very slim, a chance to achieve. Okay, so when it happens like that and the deadline is so close and clients would wish to have done it way earlier, and because it's just not possible to beat the deadline and do these things within that short a time as one day or two days, eventually they miss out on these opportunities and it can be so painful. So if you have any business, even if you don't have an application you are anticipating yet, someday if you keep working hard, your time is going to come and you don't want the time to come and find yourself not prepared, it can be very painful. Someday, somehow, every investor, I mean, rather every entrepreneur, someday meet up with an opportunity he had been waiting for, an opportunity for more capital, you don't want to miss out on that. So you want to register your business, go to learnup.org, you should see the information as to how to contact the relevant staff that will help you sort this. Learnup.org should be somewhere on this video, okay? Now the next challenge or critical problem that clients face, I mean clients who are unregistered, who have their businesses unregistered is this. You know, I talked about the fact that Entrepreneurs often have big dreams when we start out and one of those dreams is to someday, you know, meet with a client that will give us such a very big and huge deal. You might start out dealing with petty, regular people on the streets of your town, on the street of social media and they, these people might not mind paying your private accounts. I mean, if you want to deal with them, a customer, a client, they might not mind uh, paying into your private account if there are people who know you very well. But even on social media, a lot of people wouldn't want to pay to a private account, they prefer a corporate account. But apart from these people, someday, if you keep working hard and being consistent, like I said, someday you're going to hit a home run meeting with a very major uh, client or customer who will be willing to do a huge deal with you. And just imagine a client or customer who could give you a life transforming contract requesting that you present a proposal and you then inside the proposal you are presenting a private bank account oh that's a no-no i mean it's a total aberration presenting a private ac bank account in such a proposal it can make you lose a big contract and there have been clients that come to us expressing such pain 
when they miss that kind of contracts. So you don't want to be that kind of client, okay? Um, of course, before you can open a corporate bank account, one of the things you must have, your business register with the Corporate Affairs Commission. You need a certificate to register, I mean, to open a corporate bank account. Of course, there's some other things you need, like the tax identification number and some other things like that. And Leonard Consulting has made it so easy for clients in such a way that you don't even need to move an inch. They are going to help you get your tax identification number alongside your registration with Corporate Affairs Commission. And if you so wish, they could even help you open a bank account with a credible bank. All of this without you leaving the comfort of your room. I think that's just a peak of comfort or convenience. There is no excuse as to you having to register your business. Proceed to learnup.org and get the relevant details as to how to start out with this. Or maybe I could get the phone number of the relevant staff at Lenup Consulting somewhere in the description section of this video so you could easily gain access to such stuff. And I think the last point I want to make, I mean the last critical problems that unregistered businesses often face is this. And this is, I think this is the most common and it can be very painful. You know, there is a client who has been doing business for several weeks, months, and sometimes years unregistered and they've been promoting a particular brand and suddenly someday they choose to register it only to find out there is some guy somewhere who has registered a similar business with a similar name. Somewhere, you could be in Ocean State or Lagos State or even Enugu State and you have this very fine brand that you are promoting because you thought you, were, you got it from some divine inspiration and nobody on earth has access to this kind of inspiration. Even if people don't have access to the inspiration, they could stumble across the brand somewhere on the internet, your brand, and then go ahead to register it before you. So it happens like that as some guy in Ocean State came to register a business, he had this fine name, that he had this so much emotional attachment to the brand name he had promoted the brand name only to when we found when we tried to search through the database of CAC we found out that this same business has been registered by someone in Kano states and it was very painful so what did we have to do we had to just adjust this particular name in some instances we just need to change completely I mean change the name completely and it can be so painful so if you have any business you are promoting without having a brand name attached to it of course, you should have a brand, you know, the, uh, you should understand if you're an entrepreneur, the value of having a brand attached to your business. And if you've been promoting a brand without having it registered, you run a risk of someday encountering someone somewhere who has registered the same brand or similar brand, and it can prevent you from getting CAC approval for that brand, and it can be very painful. So if you've been running a business, you don't have it registered, you want to register, or maybe you have it in mind to run a business someday, and you have a beautiful brand name or business name you have in mind, and you intend to do, it's not so expensive, it's now quite cheap, a simple business name registration will just help you in that case. You can just get it registered, keep and secure the brand until the day you intend to run the business that way you won't suffer a heartbreak eventually when you want to register the business and for people who intend to start running a business don't go ahead to promote a brand and everybody has already known you with a brand before you decide to register it it might lead to heartbreak you want to register the brand before you promote a brand that you know you legally possess or you legally own so promote only the brand you have legally secured for yourself and how do you do this you register your business before you go big okay and this you can do with Leonard consulting just go to the website of Leonard consulting that should be lenup.org it should be somewhere on this screen or the description section of this video proceed down there and you see the details as to how you could easily access the relevant staff of Leonard consulting that could help you with this registration is so convenient so comfortable you don't have to leave the comfort of your room and they're going to do it all for you at a very affordable price no matter the type of business or organization you intend to register so i believe you've been able to get some helps from what i've shared so far there are some other problems some other challenges that unregistered businesses face but i think these are just the three common ones we often encounter in our dealings with clients so far and we don't want you to be one of those people encountering such painful challenges. So go ahead to register your business. Lenop Consulting will be waiting for you somewhere at the website. Lenop will talk. Okay, so I trust this has been of help to you and if that is so, kindly hit the like button and then if you're new on this channel, you want to hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you don't miss out and you'll be one of the very first persons that will be notified as soon as a new video hit this channel so go ahead to hit the subscribe button hit the notification button 
and be on the lookout for our subsequent video and if you are new still just check through this channel there are many beautiful amazing videos that have been released before now that you can go ahead to just get some helps and inspirations from those videos so go ahead uh, browse through the channels and you should see very amazing videos there so once again my name remains Alan Josh and I'll be right back again in my next video until then have a great time